Oh, man, I'm getting so pissed off with this shit. The meme stock basket, okay? The Russell, the Mag 7, every single sector that is rotated into moves on a pre-planned and pre-programmed algorithmic cycle, okay? These stocks and securities only move on POIs, okay? The algorithm pumps in buying or selling volume and options volume all in the exact moment that it has to in order to justify uh, making the security liquid test a specific volume shelf that already has been pre-created within the structure in the past, okay? It uses these past structures as um, a measuring stick, if you will, to decide based on the news that is already pre-planned as well within mainstream media, because they're in on it too, okay? To justify which direction a stock goes up, up or down. The larger the POI on the larger time frame, the more violent the move. This isn't fucking hard to understand, okay? I've been explaining this to you guys while Roaring Kitty wasn't here, while Zach Morris was getting sued by the DOJ, while Trace Trades hasn't fucking been here in two and a half years, okay? It was me helping you in the trenches and a few of these other guys too. And we all collectively did a great fucking job at managing your expectations, at helping you manage risk, at helping you manage your emotions, hmm? which you guys still fucking suck at because all you do is argue with each other still to this day. Now, while you've gotten better, still not where we want to be. All right, AMC and GME community. So <laughs> you guys need to get this and get this quick because I'm already getting DM after DM after DM on fucking YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Trey tweeted, so um, GME is going to pump tomorrow? Is uh, the run to 40, Nick? Is it faster now? Because Trey tweeted? No, it's not. We figured out the sequence. Okay? We know the timing of the algorithmic sequence. No one else on Twitter does. It's just us. It's just us. That's why when Roaring Kitty comes back after two and a half years of being dead fucking quiet and tweets to the one minute candle on the fucking launch pad during your January fractal in your markup phase, it's a little bit suspect. Just a little bit suspect because he can't know that information. And while, like I've said in the past, we generally know when the bracket of time is, we don't know to the one hour or one minute candle. Okay, it's very, very difficult because the more you zoom in, the more the algorithm looks like jarbled fucking spaghetti, okay? And you can't measure it unless you worked for BlackRock and knew what the algorithm was and knew the math behind it that propelled it forward. But we don't. We're measuring this with geometrical shapes, and that's as good as it's going to fucking get from retail, all right? Sitting in my apartment, measuring a fucking $10 trillion algorithm that controls the global market, <laughs> okay? So, no, Trey's, Trey's fucking tweet isn't going to move GME anywhere, anywhere fast. And you're going to watch this happen tomorrow. Make it a little blip from a tiny bit of retail buying volume. Sure, but remember, retail doesn't move markets. So any little blip that you see, the moment volume starts coming in, it's going to be siphoned off into a dark pool and the stock is going to fucking immediately come back down. There is no move on AMC and GME until mid-August, okay? Right when AMC earnings is, all right? That's your basically delayed March fractal in the sequence. Okay? I love you very much. Gotta get the shit together. Gotta get the shit together. Because these fucking kids that weren't here, that weren't here, helping you fight in the trenches, right? Teaching you how these things work over this period of time, the t how many fucking 10,000 tweets that I put out here, okay? They weren't here. And they wanna come back after two and a half years of no communication during AMC and GME's markup phase to fucking clout chase. Wow. How convenient for you to disappear. The pioneers of social media, right? Leaving us all fucking here. 
fending to ourselves while GameStop dropped 90%, while AMC dropped 99%, was reverse split, fucking diluted into Kingdom Come by Adam Aaron with Ape. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> That's so piss poor. That is so... You... <sighs> These people are here for the middle class? Really? Wow. You're here for the middle class. You come back and you're posting pictures of dudes leaning in their chair like, oh, we're ready to go, AMC and GME. Yeah, we're ready to go. But when everyone's struggling, right, screaming, fucking losing all their money, you're like, over here. Oh, hey, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, the markup phase. Oh man, you should follow me again. You should tweet about me again. You should comment about me again. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm not here for that shit. Not here for that shit at all. That's piss, piss poor. I don't respect any of you. It's our fucking time now. You had your time to clout chase in 2021. You had your little runs. You made a few mil because you got lucky hitting a squeeze that was way bigger than anyone thought it was. But this is a new wave. This is algorithmic sequencing and you ain't fucking cut out for this, this game, okay? We're the ones taking over now, okay? So sit back, shut the fuck up, let the big boys do what we gotta do. Fucking tweets. Tweets don't move the market. News don't move the market. That's the lie they want you to believe. Okay? Have a good night, guys. Fucking 10.30 at night. I gotta make this.